This is a great song. This is a great song. I, I might listen to this later, actually. This is great. Good jump scare. You done got God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I think that was directly for you. Yes! And welcome to GT Not Live, where today we're going back to the Garten, the Garten of Ban Ban. Uh, I gotta say, uh, it seems like, what was it, the Euphoric Brothers, uh, the guys who put together Garten of Ban Ban, saw Scott Cawthon's playbook of like, hey, I'm gonna release three games in a like year period, because FNAF 1 came out and then like a couple months later FNAF 2 came out and then a little bit longer FNAF 3 came out, and they're like, well, it worked for him. We see that, and we're gonna, you know, hold my beer. What is it? No, they they saw that, and they're like, you know what, Scott Cawthon, hold my beer. We're gonna do you better because instead of doing it in a couple months, we're gonna do it literally like every other month. Like that is it. Uh, because as far as I can tell, yeah, four days ago, the Garten of Ban Ban three, three. There's three of these things. Garten of Ban Ban three trailer dropped. Um, and so one. I wanted to do a reaction to this one. But secondly, not to be outdone, the internet has seen Garten of Ban Ban, which again, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like, it started as like a joke, but now it's getting to the point where people are taking it seriously because I think the, the like actual learning curve of these guys making the game has actually been incredible. And chapter two was really, like chapter one, a little bit janky, but you could tell that there were ideas there. Chapter two, it's like, okay, there's like actual fun gameplay here and there's stuff here. Uh, we'll see what chapter three has in store, but not to be outdone, the internet's like, oh yeah, you fork brothers, hold my beer, because now I'm gonna, uh, reimagine it. And so there's a YouTuber named Unique Geese, uh, that I'm gonna flip over to here, who apparently has redone the, the entire first chapter of this game, the entire first Garten of Ban Ban, uh, in the span of one week with no experience. So, uh, since... A, a one minute 45 trailer reaction of Garten of Ban... I can extend a lot of things, like two minute trailers into 45 minutes. That's fine, no problem. I don't know if I myself feel morally okay with doing that for a Garden of Ban Ban trade. You know, stuff like Bobby Playtime, like, oh, let me pick this apart. Garden of Ban Ban, you haven't quite earned that level yet. We'll get there. Um, but we're gonna react to the trailer because I'm, I'm legitimately excited about this. I think that... Uh, I enjoyed the first one. The second one was even better. I'm, I'm delightfully amused by this franchise. Um, so I, we're going to check out that one. And then we're going to hop into Unique Geese's reimagining of the first ever game. Uh, and see how he turned it into a horror game. Um, I believe it's called Garten and Ban Ban Reincarnated. Or now just Reincarnated. Because uh, they asked him to, to take Garten and Ban Ban out just to avoid confusion. But to me, I just love the fact that this thing released like what? four or five months ago at the, the first one, and already there, it's being rebooted <laughs> because that is the culture we live in. Justin, you have something to say. I just wanted to say, despite everything, I'm still here. Uh, you are still here. Yeah, Ash is still Ash sick. Ash is still sick. Ash will be back. This is, I'm I'm temporarily in the tech chair. Oh, well, you know, now that it's, uh, I, I don't know what order these are going to air in. Yeah. So it, it might be broken. But at this point in your lore, yes. we've established that you like garlic. Bread. Texas, garlic Texas toast. Yep. You like uh, dissecting things in your room. I, I didn't say I like that. It's a thing that happens. You like dissecting things in your room. And uh, uh, Space Camp. And Space Camp. But I don't know if that episode's out yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll find... Uh, spoiler alert. Look People forward to the lore drop, everybody. The lore drop of him being in Space Camp. What's what's your fourth lore drop now? Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I know. You're having to dig deep for these factoids yeah, about yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, what's a weird thing about... You and I might do an escape room later. Oh, dude, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've never failed an escape room. I've done, Ooh. like... I, I, I think I've done five of them. I've not, never, I've never not escaped. Wow. So, okay. Uh, oh man. That's, I don't want to ruin your perfect record now. Uh, you, you, There's one time that we didn't escape and it was because of, it was one of those rooms where you're put together with a bunch of other random people. That's, and yeah, that's not fun. That's hard. That's a hard like group to manage because everyone's like, bah! and no one communicates. And even though I'm like, Hey, I got this thing. Like, let's all pull up. No one cares. Yeah. You They're, don't, you don't want to go in an escape room with just anybody, like even your friends. 
there's only probably certain of your friends you want to take. With oh you yeah, no, room. there you you definitely have to. If you're doing an escape room, you definitely have to curate your mix of people. You have like, oh, you guys are gonna be the workhorses. You guys are gonna be the like who are solving stuff. You guys are just gonna be helpful, and then you guys are just gonna wander around and have fun, and that's fine, you know. But then you have the people. The first the first ever escape room that I did. Uh, you know, there's a lot of a learning curve to this sort of thing. And one of the guys that we brought in is, is Mr. I'm going to brute force it. Oh, and, no. and I'm not like, even though there are clues that give you very clearly the answer, or, you know, give you the hints that you need to get to the answer. He's like, I'm going to stay here the whole time and figure out the, this, like, I'm going to brute force this piano code of like five sequences. And, and he did it and it broke the rest of the game. Like, like oh, okay, he did it. You've done a sequence break. Yep. Yeah, he done. The, he did the sequence break, and then all of us had no idea what clues had or hadn't been used, yep. where it applied. Yep. We were so confused at that point oh, man. that it and it introduced all these new things that were like we don't know how to manage this now. And and so we were working on one puzzle. He's like, I did this, and it just shattered the whole thing. And that was we did eventually escape that one, but that was r- real hard. Um, so I, I haven't escaped once. But it wasn't that time. It was well, a different. Time. I will try not to let you down. If okay, do don't it. don't let me down. Okay, you because because Ryder, we're going with sort of fair. Ryder takes it very seriously. Well, I'll take it very seriously too. Because he plays Sherlock Holmes games. Oh yeah. Do you play Sherlock Holmes games? I'm aware of them. Do you play Professor Layton? I, I oh gosh, a long time ago. DS. Okay. Okay. Old, so old okay. Time. Okay. Nancy Drew. No. Hardy Boys? I don't know. They didn't make... Why did they, <laughs> someone make a video game of a Hardy, Hardy Boy. Boys. Hardy they're, Boys did not get the video game treatment. They're in the same universe, so... No, I know. Right? Where's the Hardy... Where are my Hardy Boys at? Boxcar Children. They were out there solving mysteries, I doing mean, the hard work. Isn't that just like a survival game? Boxcar Children? Yeah, it's just essentially a survival game. The first game. one is less of a mystery and more of a survival game, but then they start solving mysteries. Are we going to get like a mashup of like the forest and like, the Boxcar Children in the oh, same... Oh, man. my gosh. Oh, I, we read Ollie the first Boxcar Children. It's great. He wept. It's a, it's a good book. It's a good book. Boxcar Children was like, there's a reason there's like 600 of yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, at this point. The, I think the quality went down after. Oh, I mean, certainly. <laughs> but you know, contrary to the Boxcar Children's quality, you know where the quality has gone up? GT Live? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, certainly not. No. Uh, Garden of Ban Ban. Hey. Yeah, there it is. Because uh, Garden of Ban Ban is on an upward trajectory. So let's see if it continues as we go into Garden of Ban Ban 3 official trailer. Uh, we're going to react to this. And then, like I said, we're going to do uh, the remastered version, which I'm very excited about here. Garden of Ban Ban. Let's see this. Okay, I can already react to this. See, look, you're getting the 45 minute treatment. Oh my gosh. We got, no, it's not going to be 45. We got Stinger Flynn. Uh, and we got that weird jumbo face that peeked out from uh the depths from the abyss in chapter two and it's they're out this appears to be like we're still in the garden in this underground facility right because to me it looks a little fake it doesn't look like this is a real setting i would assume that this is maybe like a toy car next to singer phone this feels synthetic in some way like uh like an arbitrary thing we also know the relative size of this and if this was truly a real perspective shot, he should not be this big, I would I would think. So I think this is maybe like toys or something. Oh, he is way out there. Hmm. Oh, he he's lonely. He's, cry, he's crying from all three of his eyes. I love it. I love I love when your art's so bad you have to give visual direction of what the character is feeling. Lonely. <laughs> I don't. You say that, but we exist on YouTube where everything has to be. <laughs> yes. sad yes asterisk you will be shocked youtuber face exists for a reason yeah <laughs> asterisk shook it <laughs> all right we got we got we got big boy back also peeking out through he just seems to love peeking out through windows and doors at this point <laughs> like he's got social anxiety <laughs> I want to. I want to participate from a distance. Exactly. I'm participating from afar. We, we love an introvert king. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ah! Introvert king. Oh, I love it. Okay, it's <laughs> amazing. He's gonna eat my pancreas and play me a song. Toadster's jail. So we haven't seen Toadster yet. Uh, but Toadster in the drawings always is depicted as kind of like cowboy or sheriff. Um. So I guess we're gonna visit that. It looks. We're seeing new environments. I'm excited about this. Oh, you get to play as Stinger Flynn, I would assume. Interesting. Okay. Drone Boy's back. Herbal Drone. <laughs> I, love just, I love the slow pans over all the, like, all the just janky drawings on the floor. So dramatic with the strings. Somber strings playing. 
This is this is what I expect out of my band, man. We need we needed a dramatic war never changes. <laughs> that would be vignette the screen yes. a little bit, you know, so that way it kind of brings it into the center, and you're like, oh, war, band, 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 band never changes. changes. The garden always stays the same. <laughs> Love it. Okay, wow. So we get to we get to play as one of the characters. That's cool, Stinger Flint. I know in. Chapter two, at least when I first saw the trailer, it looked like we were going to ride on one of the Apila birds. I don't know if... But it ended up being just Apila bird collection, so maybe we're just grabbing Singer Flynn and shooting him. <laughs> shooting. Also, also, now that I think about it, he just shot, he shot a jet of water. That's not how, that's not how jellyfish work. You don't grab... <laughs> That would be awesome, though, if a jellyfish was literally just a mobile like, I mean, water gun. My limit of biology is in, in uh, influenced by Pokemon, so that's how a tentacle works. So <laughs> That's true. You know, that's right. That's like the time when, when Mirror Matt used to work here uh, before he left to do bigger and better things, uh, where he didn't realize that bears walk on four legs and not two yeah. naturally. I mean, they can do both. We've been so inundated with media where you just watch bears like walking around like humans. I've seen a lot of toilet paper commercials. Right? A lot of toilet paper. Those Charmin <laughs> bears are misleading a generation. Them and Freddy misleading generations oh, yeah. of kids. So it's like, yeah. Oh yeah, that's how jellyfish would tend to cruel. Yeah, yeah he shoots the Squeeze thing. them and they just pew. Oh, yeah, and it'll do vine whip or whatever. Please, uh, disclaimer, no one squeeze a jellyfish, please. You're no, going to have don't. a bad time. No, not, not a great time. Although they are more substantial than you would think. Yeah. Because uh, there are non-stinging jellyfish at some of the beaches that we we visited with Ollie. And so, you know, we'll pick them up and we're like, look at this. But like, they're always heftier than I expect. You just want to like soft, we're, you want to softball it. You're like, and well, I toss them. I toss them. I, 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 by that point, they're usually dead, but I still feel bad for them. So usually I'll like toss them into the water or whatever. Okay. Try to rescue them. You think you eat the jellyfish, that's fine. What? Yeet, I'm not yeeting. I'm gently tossing. I'm not like, yeet. I'm not launching jelly. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> launching the jelly. That Yo. does sound like a thing I wouldn't want to look up on every dictionary. Anyhow. Yeet, yeet, launching the jelly. <laughs> that does feel like some slang somewhere that we would get demonetized for, for sure. That's the game I want to play. Launching the jellies. <laughs> okay, so we got some ramps that we're going to jump across the gaps. So, I mean, the rooms all look different. Uh, we're going to visit the lunchroom. That's exciting. There are some areas that we seem to be revisiting. Snail. We got a big old jumbo snail friend. Oh, there's Ban Ban coming from my pancreas. Ooh, he's chasing me. See, a peeler bird. We're going to ride an appeal bird, right? We got to ride an appeal bird, finally. Oh, we got a new kangaroo character. I love each time that there's new ones. Also, he got pants. See, these are the important lore drops that are happening here. Got pants. Kangaroo. Now there's also an, an alternate spider. Are they social distancing? <laughs> they are. Yeah. You gotta watch out. Is this Stinger Flynn? No, he's... Oh, he's giant? Is there a giant version of him? <laughs> That's cool. It's cool. I love it. And this is what? Less than a month after the chapter two came out? They are fast, man. Like I said, they they learned from the Scott Cawthon strategy and they're like, let's release a bunch of these. Hey, people are talking about us. Let's capitalize off of this and ride this train. Uh, <laughs> I love that YouTube, co YouTube, number one comment. Just know the gameplay is going to be epic. Wow. Stamp of <laughs> approval. Oh, wow. Who forgot they were logged into the official YouTube account? <laughs> right? Hey, uh, social media guy, go out there. Go support the gaming community. Go pick a couple tricks. Epic. Yeah. I don't know. If, here's the thing. You can say a lot of things about the Garden of Band Band game. A lot of things I, I feel like are are definitely at play with Garden of Band Band. Again, this is coming from a place of love. I really like these games. I know that they're controversial. I like these games. But even me. Epic? Is that the word choice? And not just epic, bolded epic with star eyes. That's saying, that's saying a lot there, YouTube. Epically bad? Whoa, hey. Sorry, I'm hey. sorry, I'm sorry. You, you I'm know sorry. nothing. You're right. About this game. You're right. I'm just a hater. I showed up in the room and went, ha ha. Right. And I just, yeah, don't. 
Don't don't be hating. Be participating. Okay, okay. Let's participate then. Yeah, let's participate. Uh, old crystal. Why does this one actually look good? <laughs> why does this one actually look good than the ones before? No, I, I, here's the thing, right? I like. I think it's one of those things where. Oh yeah, yeah. This is, so Spoopy Man is articulating kind of what I'm thinking here, which is seeing this game progress is like watching the kid grow up. They improve the skill that they've been working on ever since they learned to do it, and they've been improving. Like I think that's what's been. Like, I think the premise is goofy and fun, and I know everyone's like, I'm so over mascot horror, this is boring. I I think that there, like I said, there was a nugget of I, an idea here, and bit by bit, like, the lore is still kind of goofy and this and that, but, like, I like how cheesy it is. I think there's an element of camp in it that I respond to, because I love kind of the tongue-in-cheek, campy nature of it. Because, yeah, it's playing off of all the tropes that we know, but it's not trying to be anything really more than what it is. Like, I think it knows what it is, and it's leaning into that, right? And I think that's cool. And and like the comment called out, each game, you've been seeing them progress, right? It'd be one thing if each one was just kind of like shameless cash grab. That's like, pff, put it out there. Here's my merch. Buy the merch. Blah, blah, blah. Here's part three coming soon. But the fact that you can tell that they're learning and growing with each new upload of the game, right? Each new installment. Uh, I, I appreciate that learning arc. It's cool. Um, you know, is it, is it gonna, is it epic? Is it the gameplay gonna be epic? No, but I think it's gonna be more, you know, each one has gotten more competent, so I'm excited about that. Uh, speaking of competence, though, uh, you know, people, as I've mentioned a couple times here, finding that Gart and the Ban Ban was a little bit lacking, especially chapter one, in terms of the scary factor, right? If this is truly, like, the future of mascot horror and, and scariness, um... People, you know, they well, rightly so, kind of give it a hard time about, like, this isn't a scary game. This was kind of just a, a very short demo. So uh, Unique Geese here, uh, the channel Unique Geese, Mason, uh, went out of his way and taught himself game design, basically, to make a version of Garden of Ban Ban Chapter 1 uh, that is supposedly really scary. So basically it's the rebooted, remastered version, uh, unofficially, of the game. And so I was curious about this one. I saw it uh, circulating a little bit. I know 8 Bit Ryan played it. Uh, I saw one or two other channels just uh, lightly play it. And so I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. I'm, I'm curious where this is going because I need some more Garten of Ban Ban content. So without any further ado, let's uh, hop into Reincarnated, uh, formerly Garten of Ban Ban Reincarnated. They got Opila's Nest here. So let's, let's do this thing. Sure, let's let's see. Let's see how scary this one gets, huh? Can you make Garten of Ban Ban scary? That, my friends, is the question today. Oh, and already. Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> see? They already did the, They did the one thing that Garten of Ban Ban didn't do, which is blood. blood. <laughs> Done. Blood. Did it. Blood. blood. That kid's probably in college at this point. Yeah, probably. He's got a master's degree in blood. <laughs> <laughs> He's a phlebotomist nowadays. <laughs> oh my god! I'm going to draw some blood. blood. Sorry, that's a that, that's a reference that you guys understand, right? Uh, you know, you know, the, we ex all, the extremely online people, in the audience, right? Yeah. You, we all haven't touched grass in a, in a you know, fair it's, it's just a meme from 15 years ago. It's fine. It's it's one of those ones that's car that carries on. So already though, you can tell like textures are so much nicer. Uh, the lighting is great and super spooky. Um, lack thereof. <laughs> well, right, yeah. It's a horror game. You're not supposed okay, to see anything. You're right, it's all you're supposed right. to be invisible. Uh, Lend a helping hand. Even the uh, poster recruit. These are really nice. Oh, look at this. is legitimately really good. <laughs> this is legitimately really good. What you thinking about? <laughs> I love it. Oh, and there's a Pila bird. Oh, look at how much character they all have. Oh, it's okay. This is, this, is, this is really good, Unique Geese. I'm really impressed. This is awesome. Already, like, you can end it right here, and you're like, I recreated the first room of Garden of Ban Ban. It's like, yep. If you dream it, you can do it. It is dark. Like, all the best horror games are. Oh, this is the scariest thing. The blue screen of death. Once again, reference from 20 years ago. Uh-huh. Oh, Jumbo Josh, Josh says, eat fruits and veggies to grow strong. Is that a bell or a button? Uh, those are buttons. Okay. But you can't press them with your hand. You have to uh, press them using your uh, drone friend. Okay. Your Jerome, the drone friend. That's good. That's Eat good. plain foods to keep your body ticking. This feels like a, a direct riff on Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. <laughs> Eat plain foods to keep your body going. 
bread, cream. Oh, it is! Oh my gosh, it actually is though. Cause they're the, the white sauce. Oh, white sauce, bread and cream. That's, oh man, so many, so many deep cut references. Oh jeez, that scared me. So many deep cut references. Oh, this is great. The lighting looks amazing. This is wonderful. The kitchen's got all this detail. This is legit. Unique geese. Get with the garden of Ban Ban, guys. Get with the, the, the euphoric bros. Let's make this happen. I mean, this is ultimate committing to the bit if he just taught himself how to do all this. Right? I, I don't know how true it is. Like, again, I haven't watched uh, Unique Geese's whole video. Oh, no, I knocked it over. How oh, you? I'm sorry, Jumbo Josh. I, I So I haven't watched his video because I wanted to stay blind to this as much as possible. Um, so I don't know if he had any sort of experience or game design or whatever before this. Uh, but, I mean, if you taught yourself how to do this in a week, this is, this is legitimately really good. This is awesome. There's Jerome. There's Jerome the drone. Or at least some equivalent of him. Here we go. Lore! Kindergarten and daycare center repair request form. Please fill out this form to the best of your ability and send it to the repair sector. So today's date, 9-16. Uh, so we've got 9-12-16. Uh, so we've got a, a year. My drone stopped working after hitting the button in the main hallway. I've already sent down my remote, shut down my remote. The drone is in the supply closet in the lobby, Monday through Thursday, six to four. That's my work hours. Oh, when, what days do you normally work? Your signature. Oh, and see, we already got ourselves a character here. We got John Berkeley, Bentley. I think so. You're doing better than I am, and I'm closer to the screen. Right, your advisor's signature, Stephen Adams. So, okay, look at that. They're even building out lore. We got lore going on too. Oh wow, they're building out lore. This is exciting. Also, Appeala Bird got a real makeover. She got a glow up. Very appealing. Oh, appealing! Well, see, look at you. Hey. Look at you. Day two of you helping to do this and already just up. Garden of Ban Ban, Unique Geese, Justin. Yeah. Just all on the up and up, man. Just, just we're, we're I'm, punning it out. I'm so proud of everyone. For the safety of your child, please check in the front desk. Thank you. There's that creativity area. Okay. So let's. So let's get our drone, which they said is in the closet. You were in the closet. I know, right? So where is... It was right there. Where did I... Right. Why, no. Oh you, I, why you... oh, you can't interact with it. Okay. Yeah, that's not it. Yeah, it's... That's not actually where you get it from. Gotcha. Uh, but as far as where you do get it from, I forget. So we're going to find this one together, friends. Also, I again, like you're starting to build a little bit more lore here. You know, like, hey, this building is ruined. I think in the original garden, right, it was hard to tell what exactly was going on because it's just kind of a very stark room. Can I see these? I cannot really. Oh, the light is too bright. I can't see the lore. What's the lore happening there? Any other? There's more paperwork and stuff. So I'm like, oh, are any of these parts of the lore too? Not this is canon or anything. Oh, yeah, you got some spooky drawings of like an evil bunny or something. There was always a cassette tape, wasn't there? Where? See, th see now, this is where I'm like, oh, I, I don't know how to play this game. Because I forgot where everything is. <laughs> Chapter one, there's two rooms to explore, Matt. Shouldn't be this hard. Two hours later. Wait, hold up. Hold up. The whole time I just had to open the door? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You give me, oh my God. I had, I just had to open the door. There's a big red button there. And I'm like, how do I open it? How do I? <laughs> I just had to go and touch the door. We'll just say it was a troll. Get out of, yeah, it was. You got trolled. No, so true story. I don't know if any of you guys ever went back to rewatch Game Lab. Uh, which was our YouTube Red series back in the day. This is long, long before your time, Justin. Yes. But we did an episode about Metal Gear and about uh, stealth tactics when you're in the army. And uh, and one of the things that he said is like, step one is to check the door. Like, you know, don't do key cards or like, you know, oh, let me do the C4 on the doors or like bust it or whatever. He's like, step one, just, just check to see if the door's unlocked. Because nine times out of 10, the door's unlocked. I'm like... Oh, oh yeah, that makes it, you know, we're so, again, it's one of those things that media has misled us about, like, oh, every door is going to be locked and you're going to have to, like, stealth around, find the key card, what's the secret key? Here's the big, like, this is the biggest misdirect of all time. Here's a big, I cannot tell you how long, we, we had to cut, because I'm like, there's a lot of dead time here. 
so we cut between me like just fumbling around like an idiot looking for like where's the drone where's the remote where's drone the drone nope big old misdirect right there <laughs> Yay, we solved the door puzzle. We did. That was a tough one. That was legitimately a very tough puzzle. And here, okay, a, a peel a bird again. Getting the glow up. Looking looking good. Uh, okay, here we go. There's Table again, my favorite character. Oh! Ooh! Ooh what do we got? Ooh! Oh, that is so much scarier. Because before it was just like the peel a bird kind of with a wacky outfit, like uh, peeking out. Oh, wow, and it looks humanoid now? Oh. oh, that's legitimately very scary. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh. Hey, chicks. Welcome to my nest. Before you enter, please take off your shoes and put them in the slots to the left. Be sure to follow the rules and have fun. That's, again, That that's awesome because it, it gets you over here. Because before there was really no reason to go over there. What happens if I don't take off my shoes out of curiosity? Are you going to attack me? What you going to do? I didn't read your sign. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Anything? No. Oh, there's music now too? What is this game? It's the song of the summer. <laughs> this is amazing. That's a bop. All right, so we got... What do we got over here? Oh. Sharing is caring. Your pancreas is mine. It's, see, instead of just throwing your pancreas... I want to eat your pancreas on the wall... It's more subtle this time. Your pancreas is mine. Good old Ban Ban. What other lore we got? We got the groups. Bobby Claire. We got more groups. We got CAC. Is that CAC or K? CAC! Okay. Dumbo Josh. Up, down, left, right. BA start. Oh, new grounds. New grounds, new grounds reference. Oh, no. <laughs> the new grounds. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Where are you from? Newberry, Cat, Fever. Fever! I'm from Fever Town! The coolest of towns! I'm from Mommy. Is that where Guy Fieri's from? I got a... No, it's, it's actually where, um... I got a fever. I need more cowbell. Oh, yeah. That's, that's where that fever is. Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah. Oh, that's where that's that's from. No. Um, Guy Fieri's from Flavor Town. Oh, Not right. to be confused. Okay. Yeah, it's easy to confuse Fever Town and Flavor Town. Yep. Slightly different. One yep. has a temperature. One is just hot, spicy food. Yes. Yeah. Playtime math, storytime drawing, playtime pickup. Okay. What's this logo? Hmm. Mysterious logos. They're either references or lore. One of the two. Can I hit the button? So it, it seems like, okay. So it seems like in a week, my guess here is what's happened is it seems like in a week, he was not able to program Jerome the Drone. That's my guess. And that's why we don't have the drone appearing there and that's why I don't have to hit the button and things like that was it probably was too hard to program the drone which is oh hello oh she's got a whole on thing here just <laughs> that design makes me uncomfortable it's very Jojo pose <laughs> just like large saggy legs there is not giving me a, a good visuals just saying like the it's making me think uh, shapes that I don't really want to be thinking about what right now. Oh, you got an Easter egg. Yeah, there's the literal Easter eggs hanging up here. Nothing up there. This is awesome. I love that there's like a soundtrack and everything. Anything up here? Hello? Nothing, okay. What do we got? Rules! No running, no shoes, no bare feet. Ask your teacher for socks if needed. Always check in with your teacher if you've been in the pipes for a long time. Do not enter restricted or a construction area. No yelling, no fighting. Don't poop on the floor. Classic FNAF. Have fun. Bring a friend when meeting Opila the bird. Don't. T do not. Oh, do not take the eggs. Uh oh. Oh, man. See, this is why you always got to read your instructions first. What a fool I've been. Did I have a choice, though? So, so it is. I mean, they have mixed it up a little bit. Now that there's no Jerome the Drone... I act, you know, it is it is a new experience here. Because normally this is like, oh, the egg puzzle, and you gotta feed it into the Opila bird statue, and it unlocks things. Ah, uh, you know what they say, less is more. Right? No, this is good. Well, I guess I'm gonna just collect some eggs then. I think we have to. Right? I'm sorry. I know the rules say don't touch the eggs. Whoopee! Oh, it's so fun! <laughs> Slides, man. They're the best. 
when are we gonna put a slide in the office? Ooh, hell This is this isn't threatening at all. This is a very long, mysterious tunnel here. Ooh. This is upsetting, actually. This is everything that I kind of wanted out of Security Breach's uh, tunnel section, where it's like, oh, this is, you know, ominous. Hmm. That's just footstep sounds. Right? That, the sound design is actually quite, quite good. You know, again, for having a week to do this, sound design is legit. What is this? Always feel like somebody's watching me. I got Ooh. no privacy. I also got lore. I might not have privacy, but I do have lore. Mm, that's a good exchange. Either that or this is just a random sheet of paper. <laughs> Bird! <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> Great. All the best art has labels. In case you couldn't tell, this is Bird. And then also just Giant X. Oh, hello. I don't know if that's like a, a, a texture glitch or I like think so, or if I'm just literally stroking out while I touch the wall. Oh, I remember the time that the Opila bird was my mother. Ah, here we go. We're gonna get back to the music here as it's originating from one single point in space. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't you can't be ruining the the ambiance of the tubes. Uh, ambiance of the tubes Ooh. is a is a good song name. Then are those eyes? Oh, somebody's blocking me again. Uh oh. Is that is that really eyes? Or is this just like gonna be some fake out at the end? Oh! Oh, oh it was! Oh, awesome! <laughs> this, is, this is really good. This is legit. I like this a lot. That was le the design of the Opila bird is, is legitimately upsetting. Oh, pretty bird. Pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird. All work and no play. Makes Jack a pretty bird. Makes Jack a pretty bird. Makes Jack something something. Thank you for not reading every pretty bird on the wall. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I figured we could kind of extrapolate the information from there. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll just say you didn't, and I just cut it. And then I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the important lore bit in there. <laughs> it's like no, in the middle it said ugly bird, and oh, what no. Apila bird's actually dealing with is like, you know, uh, self image issues. Mm -hmm. Aren't we all? I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty <laughs> par for the course. We we all have things that we want to improve in ourselves. No, you gotta accept yourself for who you really are, Justin. I'm a, I'm an Ophelia bird. You are, you're a beautiful bird. Oh. You're not just a pretty bird, you're a beautiful bird. Oh. Okay, and you, you should fly. Okay, uh-oh, Ophelia lost her eggs. Can you find all six of Ophelia's pretty blue eggs? Put the eggs back in the nest for an amazing surprise. So let's see. We found one, two, three, four, five, and then there should be six. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? I think so. Pick, pick up your prize. So I know in the original game, right, there was a hidden seventh one that was like in an impossible to reach spot. We don't have a drone. I don't think we're going to get that. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think so. Just trying to make sure I've checked out everything before we do this. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are beautiful looking eggs, by the way. I love the texture and the shine on them. Very glossy. It's really nice. High, high gloss eggs right there. Okay, we got ourselves a new key card. Leap! Yeah! Hey, look, at that, look at those speed, speed run strats. Speed run strats. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, it's Matt Pat, uh, XX Fire 69 We've got uh, we got new strats today. For... Yeah, we got new strats today. Did you know that in this one section of uh, Reincarnated, the remaster of Garden of Ban Ban, you can actually run forward and jump over top of uh, of that sign. And that's saves gonna three save... frames. I was gonna say, it's gonna save you a couple frames there. Uh, not a whole lot of time savings, but you know, uh, this is a really highly competitive category, so uh, anything we can save. We joke. Easy. There's already somebody, I'm sure, that is. Working. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> any any game that exists has been sped run to death. So I, wait, I picked up a pink key card. Key card, yes. That's a vent. That is a vent. Maybe that'll be an event. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we go. There it is. There's the screwdriver. Any any lore? I feel a distinct lack of lore. It's been a while since I've had to read s some paperwork. I need more paperwork. Get out of here, chair! I don't think that's true. Get out of here! Yeah. I love those chair physics. Right. This is like the new bottle flip challenge. Kick the chair in a game and see if it can land upright. Oh, no. Oh, it's over. That moment has passed. <laughs> Back to the appeal of bird. Go to the event. 
boop. Nice. Hey. I like that it gives you a little noise. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a, it's a good sound effect. It's positive reinforcement. Makes me feel good. I'm getting uh, strong Huggy Wuggy vibes now. Because before it was literally just like crawl through this vent and you're in another room. But again, it's doing a good job of building up tension. That That is... Ooh. Oh. oh, hey! Oh. Ooh. Cutscene. That sounded like a juicy fall. Oh, wow. Ooh, hey. This is it's legitimately really good. I'm just thinking about my falls having juice now. Well, it, it was a thunky fall. You know, I, I had a good thud there. If, you, you know? if, you, if your juice comes out after a fall, you've got problems. Listen to your superior. You are nothing. Wow. Obey. Yes, very much. Right, it's very obey much the vibes. obey. Yeah. See, but look, we're getting all sorts of lore. And also, I've played my fair share of uh, indie horror games. If there are boxes that are stacked, I will climb those boxes. Please don't clip out of bounds. <laughs> uh, it's a no. It's it's a speed strat, <laughs> Justin. It's a speed strat. I'm saving frames with every box jump. If hello, Na if all the torture that hello neighbor put me through, oh, gosh. has led me to to one conclusion, it's the fact that more like goodbye neighbor. Am I right? Oh, hey. hey. I know. I'm, I'm dissecting it frame by frame. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. Here we go. Ooh. Apila's next nest expansion project. The new expansion to Apila's nest has been successful so far. As requested, we're installing the new playground piping before working out the ball pit. We've also got a team working on a new hallway that connects the classrooms to the new area. Kids should be able to climb from the current play area into the new one via the pipes, but the hallways will be an alternate route to the new area. The overnight crew installed some platforms that the kids will be able to climb onto once the ball uh, when the win in the ball pit. But I have to wonder, how did they manage to install them? <laughs> yeah, because they're flopping out of nowhere. Of course, we won't actually put the balls in until... The, the other, uh, maybe this is like the deepest ball pit known to mankind. Oh my gosh. It's the Marianas Trench of ball pits. <laughs> <laughs> right? On one hand, I'm like, oh, that would be really cool. On the other hand, it's like, oh no, that would be terrifying. Just crushed Just by the pressure crushed of by balls. The pressure <laughs> of the... Yeah, you, you know, yeah. You have to like do like a adjust, adjust as you go down. Yeah, you get you know, to get the ball pit bends. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> what, instead of water pressure, you're getting ball pit pressure. I got to equalize with the ball pit. Um, okay, uh, they won't fill it until the construction's done, but that pit seems to go on forever. I know there's a lower level to the facility that I haven't seen before, but how is it even possible to have a pit that deep? What else is down there, and why are we covering up thousands, covering it in thousands of plastic balls? I've noticed sometimes it's better not to question stuff here, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Uh, better to do my job and go home. Regardless, uh, the new area should be finished in a couple weeks, assuming we don't run into any other mishaps. Don Dugigan. Dugigan. Here we go. So let's see, we came from that direction, so we're going. I think I made this jump. Woo, leap. Nice. Confidence. Confidence. Thy name is Matt Pass. Okay, here we go. I'm probably missing Easter eggs all over the place. Ah! Literal or figurative? All of the above. Can I not get through here? Come you on. you may not! You <laughs> this there's, invisible wall! There's, there's a six inch bar in front of you that you can't cross. How dare you try, sir? Oh, there you go. There it is. Can't yeah, just... love that dang. Gameplay! <laughs> Gameplay! Invisible wall maze, you're fine. Yeah. Here we go. We're gonna do a huggy chase sequence in the Event here. Ooh, left or right, Justin? Um, left is right. Perfect. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this has a buildup of tension that the original game is lacking a bit and is is figuring out. But I do appreciate like there for as much as that sort of stuff seems empty and time wasty, it's not. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, I've just died. And I'm wearing headphones, that was great for me. <laughs> Did we lose focus? I think we might have lost, lost focus. focus. That was so scary, I lost focus. Not in the, not in the Ned Fulmer way. <laughs> Oh, I've lost focus. I need to, to reorient myself and get focused on my Ophila bird again. This is a great pop, by the way. All right. So, look at it go. I love this design, by the way. 
It has like a uh, an extra head in its chest. I don't think I was supposed to escape in this moment. I think we're gonna have to watch the death cutscene. Yeah, right. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to die here. I think. Go for a hug. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Hey, hey bird. Popping out. This is a great song. This is a great song. I, I might listen to this later. Actually, this is great. Good jump scare. You done got God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that was directly for you. Yes! Yes! Oh, man. Insert lore here. here. Well, uh, obviously, as we all know, uh, the Opila bird was an early experiment done by the Ban Ban Company, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, all in an attempt to uh, synthesize a more scalable solution for child care mm -hmm. and general childhood entertainment. Uh, but that is when things went off the rails and a greedy entrepreneur by the name of uh, Wally Franks Douglas came in and said, you know what, uh, I'm going to take this and not only do it for the joy and spirit of the kids, but also for maximum profit. At which point then, cut to three hours later. <laughs> cut to three hours later and here I am. Uh, at which point then, we enter the ruins of Garden of Ban Ban, an ex-employee of this company and here we are today, exploring the ruins of our once failed capitalist uh, ideal. The real capitalism was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> exactly. Let's be reincarnated, shall we? <laughs> That's what I say every morning when I wake up. Let's be re Ah, good morning. Let's be reincarnated, shall we? So maybe I wasn't supposed to die there. Maybe I'm, it's literally just a chase sequence and I'm supposed to run away. That would be my guess, yes. Yeah, right. It's just now I know what you know. It's, you know the jump scare's coming. Right. Okay, so there we go. So we know it's to the left is where we're going. This is the, the not gameplay section. Yeah. That gets you ready for the gameplay section. Gets you hyped for it. All right, so here it is. I'm ready to go. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, we're running. Okay, oh, gee, oh, geez. Who are you? That's lore. I, I want that lore, lore. Go to this door. Yep. Where am I? Nope. This, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Shoot. Sorry. Insert lore. I like that it's like a little <laughs> dropped coin, too. Yeah. <laughs> Insert lore there. 20, 25 cents per lore. <laughs> Will work for lore. That's it. You know what they say, third time's the charm. Exactly. Let's do it again. Is that... I feel like this is all a commentary on the fact that we're the ones inserting the lore, or, like, theorists in general and game gameplay people are like... The, you know, the designers, like, insert a little reference to lore, but it's us that are actually fleshing out the world. I can't be bothered. Nah. Yeah, lore. Lore shmore. Bah, humbug. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. The Opila bird chase sequence. He's so happy chasing us, too. Just delightful. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, uncrouch and run. Time to book it. You were close. I was close. Who are you? There's a pink thing over there. Oh, I saw some. This way, this way. This is blue. I saw a blue color sequence that taught me something, maybe. Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're definitely lost at this point. Okay, oh, oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. Well, nor do I, to be honest. Oh, this is the part where game design... Makes a different shoot. This is the part where level design matters. It's like I'm in the back rooms. It's it's Garden of Ban Ban back rooms. Garden of Back Back Rooms. I keep workshopping it. We'll get there. Whew, okay, we, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay. Fourth time's the charm. Fourth time's the charm, everybody. Garden of Back Back Rooms. <laughs> you know, when we make our, our, our spooky IP cinematic universe. Yeah, when all of them get merged together mm -hmm. into one glorious Super Smash Brother Brothersian, what what gameplay would match all of them? I mean, first person horror, right? Horror, yeah. like stealth survival, basically. Right. You drop all the care. All the characters glitch into the back rooms. Yeah. All the horror monsters. Okay. Okay. Run this way. Run. Right, okay. Oh, that's the that's the chemical Oh my gosh. That was rough. That she was that you, was not a that was not a good one. She got you so fast that time. That was not a good one. Okay, so to be fair, 
I could I could stand to use a couple more like markers in the world. <laughs> oh. oh well. Whoops. Whoa! <laughs> more lore! <laughs> We're not unlocking any more lore here, friendos. <laughs> See, this is the moment where like the joke, you know kind of starts to wear away and you're like oh no but the lore having a little bit of lore there would actually make the dying a little little better we just start adding those weird quotes from call of duty whenever you would die back in the day yeah that's right <laughs> right we can use some some just questionable quotes yeah. some pro tips yeah you know pro tips when you see opila bird don't die yes maybe the uh, the irony here is that I'm, I'm going the whole way i shouldn't be following the this way i mean maybe maybe it's a misdirect i don't know if yeah it might be a big misdirect this whole time uh, she's married. It's actually Mrs. Direct. Wow. Okay, here we go. That was well done. <laughs> I appreciated that. My timing was slightly off, but thank you. That's okay. <laughs> door, door, door. Get to the door. Left. Hey! Oh! Okay! Oh, oh man. Oh. The floors in this building just have no, no structural integrity whatsoever. Oh, you know, it does have integrity. Oh! Oh, oh. my God. What the heck? Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? Was that Chef? Chef Jumbo Josh? What was that thing? Check out how the game was made on Unique Geese's YouTube channel. I had a blast working on this project. In less than a week, I went from zero game experience to working on a game. This, this, what was that thing? Jumbo Josh the Chef. This, oh, also, I, I'm realizing this now, it's all upside down. Because oh, the world is topsy turvy. Oh my gosh! In a world, it's symbolic. Where a children's play place has been turned into an existential prison. Welcome to mascot horror. I mean, that was most of my play's place experience. <laughs> but... <laughs> like you didn't have to change anything. Yeah, you literally just, just had to recreate the space. Yeah. <laughs> it's all been topsy turvy. You know, the the world is now skinnamarink. Uh, anyway, awesome. Th this is great. Legitimately. I don't know if this is just clickbait for the title or not, but uh, Unique Geese, if you did this in a week, this is I mean, this is legitimately really good. Like, obviously, it's, there's parts that are rough around the edges. Obviously, you're taking an existing thing and just, you know, you, it's not original. You're creating it on top of, of an existing framework. But, like, this is legitimately significantly scarier. It's legitimately very frightening. The designs are great. The songs are bops. The, the textures are really cool. Uh, I liked some of the changes that you had to make to obviously, you know, move away from like the drone based gameplay, which was maybe difficult to, to recreate or maybe just cut because honestly, why aren't we just pressing buttons anyway? But legitimately very, very good uh, for both, for, for everyone involved, honestly. You know, like I said at the beginning, Euphoric Brothers, I love watching you continue to grow and evolve as game makers. Uh, Unique Geese, this is a great start if this is your first ever project. Justin. Look at you. We I, only had to restart once this time. Yeah, exactly. And your jokes have I, ascended to a new level. I got more puns in this time? Yeah, of, of cringeworthiness, which is great. Like, you're a, you're approaching the appropriate level of cringe. Hey. So, across the board, I think, at the end of the day, we can say that this was a victory for all of us. You know? This is a learning stream. This is a growing stream. This is a safe spot. So, congratulations to... You euphoric brothers on the success of your franchise, which is legitimately a franchise now. And also the fact that people aren't making fun of you. Like, I think when Garden of Band Band 1 came out and everyone's like, rah, blah, 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 meme game, blah, blah, let's dunk on this thing. But now, in the comments there, you saw people legitimately being excited about it. It was chapter three and people are like, yeah, I'm actually hyped for this thing. Um, so that's awesome. You need geese, good for you. And Justin, good for you. So all of us, consider this one big group hug. We're all winners here. We're all content creators learning and growing and getting better. So... Uh, thank you. Thank, thanks, thanks for you guys watching and helping me on my journey. You know, th at this point, what twelve years into this thing, so you know, I, I'm still on my own personal journey of of not being as as cringe, or maybe I've just accepted. Just my, embraced the yeah, cringe, just embraced. Man. Yeah, that's what it is. I've embraced it. So anyway, I think I'm blurry at this point. That's fine. We're ending this episode. <laughs> so we're <laughs> auto focus hates us. <laughs> you focus is tough. You, shows that there's still room for improvement right justin yeah yeah if you if you came and knocked it out of the ballpark completely on the second go i'd have nowhere to go anyway thank you guys so much for watching thank you for supporting us as well as all the creators both youtube and game designery out there in the universe stay positive stay friendly and as always remember 
It wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!